Hello, everybody. So, Cal Thero here, walking back to another episode of PC Building Simulator. In this one, I'm going to pick up a little bit where I left off on it. So, I did a little bit of a playthrough to try to get very little jobs as possible that I had to work on. I was sitting here, which right now I have this water cooled unit that I have to work on. And I guess they're going to teach us how to do water cooling. So, that's the reason why. I have it. It was forcing me to do it. It was, I couldn't let, or when is it going to let me reject it? So we're grabbing the parts and the PCs over here on the water cooling table. So it's going to show us what to do here to install water cooling. Oh, remove the GPU, CPU cooler. All right. And then apparently, and I didn't know this was ever a thing. I'm, I guess it's a new thing or been around and I just didn't know but apparently you can water cool ram sticks now that's uh that's pretty cool actually to be honest I didn't know that was a thing I might have to look into that for my build uh, my build is uh water cooled as it is that I use to play this game and record and edit on but uh the ram sticks are not water cooled but it's kind of interesting to see I I guess I I'm not surprised because it makes sense. You can do it with, uh, there you go. I'm trying to remove all this. There we go. I, you could do it with like GPUs and CPUs. So why not with the Ram sticks too? So, okay. Now they want us to install a motherboard specific for, wait, what? Open the tablet. Okay. I, I don't know what it wants me to do. Missing cables. Hmm. Can't remove anything. Won't let me install anything. Let me get out of it here. Wants me to remove something or put cables in one or the other. I, I don't know what it wants me to do right now. What? Water cooled motherboard. Hold right to rotate the camera. Scroll with the. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't know what it wants me to do. I can't install anything. If it says anything, let's. Uh. I mean, I got my emails up. I might as well. Okay. So now they want us to overclock a GPU. I did. Um level up so that makes sense they want me to do that now they want me to uh overclock a computer oh here we go it wants me to work over here so we gotta grab the motherboard and put the motherboard down For this job we need to water cool the cpu and the vrm voltage regulator module left click on a button to continue so it lets you choose which one so we're gonna do both each screw to remove it this is what I mean. This game is so freaking detailed, man. Look at this. Okay, so now we're going to put our our CPU in. Then we got to put thermal paste on it. So, like, we're sitting here building it like... Oh, okay. I guess that was enough. That's not really pretty, but okay. Then we're going to put our water block on it. Okay. All right, so we put the motherboard together. We can go ahead and remove this, apparently. Oh, okay, it wants me to remove this as well. Oh, got to get rid of the cables I installed into it. It's, like, really demanding. It's like, you need to do this and this. <laughs> All right, custom water cooling. The reservoir is going to go there, apparently. I mean, this is the tutorial, so it makes sense. They're going to make you do everything that it wants you to do and put it where it, it wants you to put it. All right. We're going to select our piping. So we can create a loop. They start you off with learning. Um, oh, and there we go. We'll just do white. And then uh, they make you learn how to install the uh, RAM with water cooling. And it looks like it makes you do a CPU after that. And I want to say I've done a GPU already. So makes sense. The customer's PC 
Now it has a nice new water cooling loop, which includes the motherboard, pump reservoir, and radiator. Finish the, by reassembling the PC before you return it to the customer. Okay, yeah. I got you. Uh, PC parts, removed components. Um, can I, let's see, case fans. I want to kind of, I want to let them have their case fan that came with this thing. There we go. I don't really need it. And what's wrong with a little bit of extra cooling, right? All right, so let's put the dust filter on, put the front panel on. Uh, yeah, we got to put all of this on. Oh, come on. I saw it. There we go. Oh, that's not it. Never mind. GPU's on. Got to reseat all the RAM sticks in it. And I think all the cabling is already done. So we're going to try to power it up. Ooh, looks pretty good. All right, place in the workshop area. Looking good. All right, so we can drop this one off. And we can collect on that. Yeah, five stars because it's a tutorial one, so it's kind of hard not to get that right. All right, and then we got... <laughs> New stuff was added and the discount thing and whatever. <laughs> so I could get PCs. Speaking of which, how is the shop doing? Um, I have one PC here that hasn't moved. We're going to change the price on it. Is this something about 624? Oh, okay. Maybe that's too much. Let's do 700. Knock $200 off. There we go. Okay. So that should help that sell a little bit quicker. All right. And now what's this other email they want us to do? Something. Oh, the overclocking of the GPU. Okay. So it did say I have new software for it. So I'm assuming I don't have to buy it. It's just going to be there. So we end our day. We're going to continue the tutorial part of this. And let's see here what it tells me to do. It's probably going to just say throw it on a bench and then boot it up. So we'll just put it on the bench right next to my my station. For this job, we need to overclock the customer's GPU, which means making the GPU run faster than its stock frequency. Connect the cables to the PC and select the monitor to get started. Okay. Um. I just... Nope. It's not going to let me do it. Okay. I thought it was going to let me auto connect everything so I didn't have to do this, but I guess I do. Select the monitor, press P to power on. All right. Omega system. It's a nice monitor. GPU tuner. All right. First thing to do is to increase the GPU's core voltage so it has more power to run faster. Generally speaking, GPUs are protected by software, so you can set it to the maximum voltage without fear of breaking the card. Increase the voltage to plus 20%. All right, there we go. Next, we want to increase the core clock speed. Increase the core clock speed until the meter at the top left reaches 1720 megahertz. Okay. There we go. You can also boost the memory clock when overclocking, although it isn't necessary for this job. The memory clock... Controls how quickly the GPU can feed the graphics processor with information. So the balance between a fast core clock and a fast memory clock is key to getting the most out of your GPU while maintaining sta stability. Okay. Left click to apply the settings. Double click this. I remember this from before. Wait for the stress test to complete. If the GPU is overclocked too far, then the PC will blue screen when stress tested. You make it through the stress test without the PC crashing, you're good to go. The other thing to monitor is the power draw. If it gets too close to the rated output on the PC's power supply, then it can cause stability issues in the power supply unit should be upgraded. Okay. Yeah. I've done this before on the um, previous PC building simulator, so I vaguely remember it, but... Oh, okay. Has been overclocked and it's stable, so it's ready to return to the customer. Okay. Cool. Seems easy enough. 
That was an easy one right there. Didn't have to buy parts or anything. So let's go ahead and collect on that. Five stars again. Yep, easy enough. New parts are available. Oh, you know what? I need to check. Yep, the PC's gone. Okay. So let's exit out of my emails. Yep, here we go. Shop sales. Let's collect on this. I don't have any others, right? Everything else is taken care of here. Yep. All right. So I need to do some purchasing of PC parts or like, yeah, these right here, spare ones. So I can go ahead and make some money off of them. So we'll buy this one. Buy this one. Buy this. We'll just buy all of them. There we go. Okay. So I bought all those PCs. Let's go back to my emails real quick. Hmm. This is all the stuff that's broken. Uh, I guess I'll just go through and tear them apart. I'm not even going to. Yeah. I'm not even going to go through all this. Yeah, it's fine. All right, so what do we got here? We got a water. Oh, I got something here that I have to accept and then something I can reject. I'm going to reject that just because this one is forcing it. So for this job, we need to water cool the GPU. So let's order a GPU block from the custom. OK, yeah, we're doing that. GPU blocks. Scroll until the item is visible. Um, left click to add to your basket. Okay. It'd be great if I knew which one it was. Oh, there it is right there. And then it's going to be for this PC build. Go to the basket, buy it now. All right, there we go. I'm going to continue shopping and exit out of it. Okay. So let's go ahead and head out for the day. Oh, all the PCs are here already. Oh man. Okay. Um, for now, let's just stick one over here so the delivery can commence of the one I need. And then I'll work on those uh, off camera. So the shop is resupplied again. Didn't realize they were all just going to be right there. It's been a while since I played this game. So that's the reason why I was like, hey, this is new. All right. So we got our water cool GPU. Here's the water cooling. Oh, I think it's the same PC we worked on before. Okay, they want us to water cool their GPU. Uh, in fact, it is. Look, they still got the uh, white uh, liquid in in there. All right, now we gotta take it over here to water cool it. Yep, we're gonna use this. Yep, let's remove that. I've done. Well, I didn't do this. I watched my uh, my buddy State do this when he was uh, water cooling my 3090 or my 3070 rather. All right, and let's put some new paste on there. There we go. Next, we need to remove and replace the thermal place. Okay. Yep, let's get rid of the old thermal paste on it. It's amazing. All of this right here controls an entire PC's uh, graphic settings. And we're going to put a new one on. There we go. Then we'll add our new water cooling block and it is done. Oh, I just got to click and then screw it together. Um, I'm clicking on it. There we go. Chill out. Nice. All right. Yep. We're going to, you know, I was going to do it, but I guess I can't do it yet. There we go. All right. It's installed. All right. They want me to remove all the piping again. Oh, cause I need to put it in a loop. All right. So now we complete our, it'd be really great if you weren't in the way. That looks terrible, but we're going to roll with it. All 
right. And then I need to put liquid in. We're going to do something different. We'll do orange this time just to mix it up because it's something I wouldn't normally do. <clears throat> All right. We are letting it fill. Yep. It's still filling though. But let's see here. Whoops. Get out of this. Remove components. Let's put the side panel on. And we're going to boot up the PC just to make sure it works. And then we'll take it over for delivery. Yep, it's good. Now he's got a GPU to go with the rest of the setup. Let's go back to our emails. Here he is. We're going to collect on that. Five stars. Nice. There is a another overclocking the CPU. So they want to teach me how to do the CPU now. And then this is... What is this? Paint case blue. Okay, I guess I can accept that. And I'll accept this as well. And I'm going to get this PC out of the way. I'll take it up here. This is another spot where I can work. All right. I think we're going to end one more day here and we'll uh, watch how to do a uh, CPU overclocking on the game as well. And then I'll just paint the case real quick just to make it easy. All right, so customer paint case blue. Here we go. Well, we're going to do this. I need my paint. They want it blue. Uh, we want hard painting. We want the full thing to be paint. Man, this thing looks dirty. I might be taking this apart. Pimp my rig. There we go. Not very blue over there. Sixty-three percent. Do they want me to paint the glass too? Oh yeah, they do. They want the whole thing. Okay. Yep, there you go. And we're gonna put it over here. Uh, we'll put it right here. This thing looks like it needs to be cleaned. Let's give it a good clean before we return it to the customer. Yep. Yeah, um no, try, uh, game's acting like I've never played this before. Oh, I didn't realize. Oh, that's cool. It's got a little percentage meter down there. I thought I've been trained how to do this, but apparently not. Or it's giving me a retraining. Dust remove. Okay. Thank you for making sure I did my job. <laughs> and we'll do this. All right. We're going to double check the email one more time. All right. Delete that. Reject that. Oh, some sort of other customization thing. We'll have to save it for another time. All right. And oh, that was the one I need. I could do cap. Events look a bit clogged. Is that okay? I could do with capital on this PC. Can you handle that? Please. All right. I think they also want software. That's why it's saying what it's saying. Um, that's the cloning. We need this. We're going to boot it up just to see. Oh yeah. I saw all my, it's all my cable work there. All my damn custom cables that are not custom cables. All right. So add and remove programs. Capital. There we go. And done. All right. That should give us our little bonus too. So we should get five stars on it. Let's collect. There we go. I'm thrilled with my new blue case and it's cleaner than the day I bought it. Awesome. I'm glad I could do that for you. All right. Now we're going to be overclocking a CPU. Oh, oh, that's right. That's taken right now. We got to put it right here. Overclock CPU by at least. Oh, so you're not going to tell me how to do it. Nice. I got to plug it in. It told me how to do a GPU, which is pretty easy to do, to be honest. 
but now it wants me to do a CPU. What's the budget? There is no budget. Okay. So I should be able to do it like this. Oh, I didn't hold down the button. Damn. All right. Let's see what, uh, let's go ahead and run it through the test. We'll see if the CPU temperature goes up too high. How much we got to play with here. It's currently at 4,300 megahertz, so it's not too bad. And it wants to be at 4,525? Okay. Yep, we can restart. I'm getting cocky now. I knew how to do the GPU, and then it throws a CPU at me, and then it doesn't, sh it doesn't tell me uh, how to do it. I was thinking it was going to be a... Uh, CPU. I was thinking it was going to be a tutorial like thing. Ace clock. Uh, what did they say? 4525. All right. Let's uh, apply changes and restart. Yep. And we want to make sure it can boot. All right. It's booting. Let's uh, stress test it here. And it's testing now. The temperature is going up, but it's not too bad. Power draw is minimal okay i think we're good i don't think it's gonna crash on us let's make sure still need more power this time for my cpu okay can you see it now you're very wait what add you to my list of sponsors can you see it now you're very on three by two foot advertising space flying high above the town okay cool just making sure that i didn't need anything else and it's finished. Okay. Let's go ahead and drop this off. And this one is done. Five stars. There we go. And we did level up. We've unlocked some new components to work with. The next milestone at level three. Hey, Ryzen second gen Threadripper. I have a Threadripper in my current PC. GeForce RTX 2080, nice. RTX 4080, nice. All right. Some cool parts coming down the pipeline here pretty soon. Um, What do we have right now? GTX 1070 Ti. Oh, nice. That's like what I used to have. All right. This is a customized one. Let's see what it's asking us to do. Okay. It wants us to replace with green cables. All right. Well... I'm going to leave that for another time, but guys, that's going to do it for this episode of PC Building Simulator. While we're away, I'll work on fixing these PCs and getting them up to uh, selling conditions so I can list them in my shop. And then if this PC ends up showing up, um, I'll probably just go on and do it because I showed you guys how to do the custom cabling already, which was pretty cool. One of the neat new features in the game. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought. And until next time, take care.